You are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem finding the value of x in root x plus x equals to x times root x. Here it is important to note that x should be greater than or equals to 0. Now let's use a letter to represent root x. So let t be equals to root x. And from here, when we square both sides, that means t square is same thing as x. So let's write in terms of t now. The equation will then become root x will then be t plus x, which is t square now, then equals to x, which is t square, multiplied by root x, which is t. So when we solve from here, we are going to have t plus t square will then be equal to t square times t that will be t raised to power 3 for law of indices then we can use this to form an equation taking everything to that side now this will become 0 so we have t raised to power 3 then plus we come to this side we become minus that's minus t square then minus t will then give us 0. 0 will be left here. Same thing as writing it here. Equals to 0. Then from here we can factor t out since t is common. Let's bring t out. We have t out. Then what will be left inside will be t squared minus t minus 1 which is equal to 0. And we have two possible cases here. So from here we have two cases. The first because two number multiply give us zero the first we have t equals to zero and also we have t square minus t minus one equals to zero and from the first case here don't forget that we let t to be root x so we can say root x equals to zero to find the value of x we can square both sides the square on this side will give us x and when we square 0, we still get 0. That means x equals to 0 from there. Then let's solve for t here. This is a quadratic equation. And a, which is quotient of t squared is 1. b, which is quotient of t, is minus 1. Then c, which is constant, is also minus 1. Using the formula t equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then we substitute to get the value of t. That means t here, t here will be equal to minus minus 1, that's minus b, plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4a, that's 1, then c minus 1, then all over 2 times minus, there's 1. That's 2a. Then from there, we simplify and we have t equals to 1. That's minus times minus 1 plus or minus. We have square root of minus 1 square. We have 1. Then minus times minus here give us plus. That's plus 4 over 2. Then this will be t equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5. All over two. So we have two possible values of t here. So the first value of t is 1 plus root 5 over 2. And the second value of t from here is t2 equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. This second value of t is less than 0. And we are not interested in getting result less than zero. That means here there won't be a solution here. Then we work with this, you know, value of t. That is t equals to t equals to one plus root five over two. So solving from here, we know that t is same thing as root x. So we have root x equals to one plus root 5 over 2 then to get x here we take the square on both sides when we square this side it's the same thing as x then square this side we have 1 plus root 5 
we were to all square and when we square everything same thing as the number multiply itself so we can write it as x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then multiply by 1 plus root 5 over 2 so the number multiply itself so which when we expand the numerator we multiply the numerator so 1 can open first that's 1 times 1 that's 1 1 times root 5 that's plus root 5 then root 5 we open it that's root 5 times 1 that's root 5 plus root 5 then root 5 times root 5 that's 5 that's plus 5 then over also we multiply the denominator 2 times 2 that's 4 so over 4 so from here we have x we now have equals so we can add you know the numbers together 1 plus 5 that's 6 plus then they solve the roots together that's root 5 plus root 5 that will be 2 root 5 then divide by you know 4 also we can separate this now and write as x will then be equals to 6 over 4 plus 2 over 4 then root 5 so we can reduce this one to be the same thing as since 2 can go there that's 3 over 2 now then plus 2 can go here as well, remain root 5 up, then over 2. So this is the value of x we got from here. Therefore, we can say the second solution, that this x, we got the first one to be x equals to 0. Then the second solution, x2, will now be equals to 3 over 2 plus root 5 over 2. And therefore, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.